Hello and welcome to another video. So it's the time of year in the north of England where uh, I call it the midnight sun where the sun doesn't really dip too far below the horizon before it starts rising again and you might be able to see it behind me it's it's not too far from midnight and and it's still basically looks like daylight so yeah, it's really, really demotivating this time of year as an astrophotographer. So, so you might be thinking, what is the point of um, trying to shoot astrophotography this time of year? And you would be right, there really isn't much point. Um, but uh, what, what I potentially might get tonight from Lucky is a little bit of noctilucent cloud that can happen this time of year. Um, I it's just not been clear for a couple of weeks since the last video I posted, so I thought we'd have a go. Uh, I could potentially have a go on the H, H alpha filter and try and catch a HA target. Uh, but what I am also going to do, just to make some use of the night, is um, still test the new Samyang 135. So what I'm going to do is um, take um, take exposures at different f-stops. So I'll keep it the same exposure, probably like 30 seconds, something like that, if that's not too bright. I'll change the ISO to compensate for the metering, and I'll stop it down. So I'll go f1.8, f2, or up to f4, or f6, something like that. So give that a go, and then at least made some use of the night. So yeah, yeah, let's get on with it. Right, so I think I'm, I think I'm happy with what I've just got. Uh, been shooting for two hours, uh, got the shots that I wanted to compare the different f-stops for the 135, then put the HA filter on and shot up at um, Cygnus, the North American. Uh, shot that for like an hour on RGB and then like 20 minutes on um, on HA. And now the not too some clouds come out. So actually, it, uh, depending what the cam what it looks like on the computer of course it looks good in the back of the camera it's actually it's been a really good night so i have to say no there's no point shooting astro this time of year i've had a good night so <laughs> maybe it's worth going out but let's have a look at those shots uh, when back on the computer boobies <laughs> Okay, so firstly then, uh, shooting with the HA filter when there's no astro dark, I was still very impressed by what I got with the um, with the HA filter and about an hour, hour and 15, hour and a half, I think it may have been, um, data all in. And it's here, the Cygnus, North America Nebula and all that there. Really pleased with that. I will definitely shoot again with the HA filter and um, while there's no astro dark. So I was definitely wrong, so you can't do anything when there's no astro darkness. I'm happy with that. I've used that and I've composited a, an old picture onto there from the Malum tree. I'm gonna post that on Instagram to promote this video. But let's have a look also, and I've not looked at these yet. Let's have a look what those um, 135 picks look like corner to corner of the different f-stops. I'll do the usual as well as to come down in um, for a download um, for a link down below that you can download that's the first one okay so what I've done is I've changed the let the ISO stay on auto so it's changed to keep the uh, the meter in the same so we should be looking at similar sort of exposures should I increase the corners I think I probably should um, let's just manually Move the vignette in a bit. I'll sink it across the wall. Right, yeah, so I think that'll do. And I think you can see there is a little bit of difference between them. Right, so let's go into the corners then. Let's just pick a corner. This is at uh, 1.8, and then we'll go across to f2, 2, 2.5, 2.8, 3.2, 4, 4.5. Okay, am I really seeing much difference in the corners there? Let's just jump from this is at 6.3, this is at 
the stars are definitely a little bit more bloated at 1.8. Let's try a different corner. Down there, 6.3. Got a bit not to, not to move. The stars are a little tighter, aren't they, at 6.3. A whole lot in it though, is there? Um, center 1.8, center 6.3. Yeah, they are tightening now, they definitely have tightened up as you stop down. see much difference there to be honest maybe I should do a comparison of what it looks like 2.2 1.8 2 Can't really tell the difference. Let's go like F3.2. I would say the 1.8 looks better than the 3.2 in that one. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, for me, I'm not going to be stopping this lens down. I'm going to shoot it wide open. I'm not even going to stop it down a couple clicks or anything. I'll, I'll just shoot it wide open. Um, yeah, we are checking the corners and things like that. But actually, all the deep space that I shoot at 135, I crop it in anyway. So it really doesn't matter what the corners are like. It matters what the sharpness is like in the center. Um, as I say, I'll stick the pictures down below. Take a look, see what you think. And then also let me know what you think. And that's it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care.